Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into 10 amazing good luck features for Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra that will completely change the way you use your phone, from boosting productivity to making your UI look fire. You don't want to miss this. So if you love your Samsung tips and tricks, don't forget to like, drop a comment if you learned something new, and of course, subscribe for more daily Galaxy content. So let's get started. So feature number one is where you can add a date next to your time on your S25 Ultra. So do you want to see the date right beside the clock in your status bar? A module in Good Lock app can basically help you do this. So say for example, if you're in a text message and someone basically asks you or maybe confirms you a date, you can basically quickly just look over here instead of bringing down the notification bar and looking at the time or the date. So let me show you how to add the date feature next to your time on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So first you want to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you want to go ahead and open up the Quick Star module. From here, turn this feature on. And now from here, tap on Clock Settings. And here you need to find the option to show date. So the status bar will indicate clock display date as light tablet. So go ahead and turn this feature on. So now when you turn this feature on, you'll see your date at the top left. If you tap on it, you can go ahead and change the date format as well. So you can make it a bit smaller, or if you only want to show the day and the date, you can even do that as well. So go ahead and choose what option you like and then go back and press home. So now you have your date set here on your Samsung S25 Ultra home screen. So you stay organized with date and time always visible. So it's perfect for planning and multitasking on the fly. Feature number two is where you can change your quick menu spacing for your icons. So if you wanna change the quick menu icon spacing like this and you wanna fit more icons here, then let me show you how to do this. So here we'll first go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, we'll go ahead and open up the module called Quick Star. From here, turn this feature on and then go ahead and find Change Quick Settings button grid. So go ahead and turn this feature on. And now if you make it wide, you'll see that your icons have more spacing between them. If you make it narrow, you'll see that your icons have less space and more icons will fit in that one box. So you can go ahead and choose what your preference is. You can either have it wide or you can have it normal, narrow, or you can just have it in the middle. So for example, I would just prefer it somewhere here. Go ahead and check it out. And as you can see, the spacing has become a bit less. I can go ahead and make the spacing a bit more less. And as you can see, more icons have fit over here. So I like the spacing here. So here you can basically customize the layout for easier reach, a cleaner design, and more toggles, however less clutter on your quick panel menu. Feature number three is where you can add the delete button when you take a screenshot. So for example, when you take a screenshot on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you see this toolbar here. However, you cannot go ahead and delete it. In order to delete it, you need to go ahead and tap on that screenshot and then press delete like this. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, if you have accidentally taken too many screenshots, you can add a delete button that appears right after you've snapped one. So let me show you how to do this. So here you need to go ahead and first open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you want to go ahead and open up the app called Nice Shot. So this is another module. Nice Shot. Turn this feature on. And then from here, you want to go ahead and find this option called Add Delete Button. So if you add a delete button to the toolbar so that you can delete the incorrectly captured screenshot immediately. So turn this feature on. Now when you take a screenshot, you'll see the delete button right here. So if you wanna just delete it, go ahead and tap on this and now the image has been deleted. So you can basically quickly delete your screenshot, no more gallery mess, you can delete right after it has been captured. Feature number four is where you can change your task switcher style. So if you don't like the Samsung's default recent app view like this, recent app view, as you can see, this is the current app view of your recent apps. So if you don't like it, you can basically customize it with grid, stack, or slim version using the home up app. So let me show you how to do this. So first we'll go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, we'll go ahead and open up a module called home up. turn this feature on and then go to task changer, turn this feature on. And now you have an option of three different task changer view. So you have a grid, 
which will basically show you like a bird's eye view of what apps are open. You have the vertical list. So your apps are going up and down and you have a slim list. So the slim list will basically give you a more minimalistic look. However, it won't show you any preview of your windows. Down below here, if you choose the vertical list, you can go ahead and choose a circular list. So instead of going up and down, they'll go like a semicircle. So if I should show you here, as you can see, it's going more like a curve. So it's completely up to you what you want to choose. So you have smoother multitasking and a fresh new look for your recent app screen. Feature number five is where you have your notification animation on your screen. So when you get a notification on your Samsung S25 Ultra and you want to see similar notifications like this one here. So I'll have the message app notification going along on my screen. Then let me show you how to do this. So you can spice up your notification with animated pop-ups. So you can choose from several pre-built animations or create your own. So let me show you how to do this. Go so first, you want to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you're going ahead and scrolling down and finding edge lighting. Turn this feature on as well. Tap on this. And here you can go ahead and choose all of these different custom animations. So you can go ahead and choose your own from your phone library, or you can go ahead and choose all these pre-built ones. So as you can see, you have styles, you have raindrops, you have popcorn flying around. So you have different styles. So you can go ahead and choose all your different styles, whatever styles you want here. Then you can go ahead and choose your color, and then you can go ahead and choose the effect as well. So if you want raindrops, clouds floating, stars sparkling, bubbles from the left, from the bottom, popcorn, or just a zoom in effect, you can go ahead and decide all this. If you don't want this, you can go and press done. And instead of that, you can also show app icons instead of custom style images. So whatever notifications you have, say for example, if you have notifications from WhatsApp, you'll see WhatsApp uh, icons on screen. If you have notification from Facebook, you'll have Facebook notifications. So you can turn this feature on to show app icons instead of custom style images. And once that's done, you can go ahead and press home, go ahead and try it out. It has now changed notification style. So you have an eye catching and a stylish way to never miss a notification on your Samsung S25 Ultra. Feature number six is where you can fit more icons on your favorite bar here. So by default, the bottom row only shows four or five apps. If you want to show more, let me show you how to do this. So first we go, okay. So first we'll go ahead and open up. So first we'll go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, we're going ahead and opening up the Home Up module, which is right here. Tap on this. Turn this feature on and then tap on Home Screen. Scroll down and where it says Hot Seat, you need to find this option called Favorites Max Count. Tap on this. And as you can see, currently by default, only five can be added. However, you want to go ahead and increase this to nine and then apply it. Now press Home. Now you can go ahead and drag any icons and you can go ahead and add it just next to here. At the bottom here, you have a maximum of nine icons you can add. So you can go ahead and add all these different icons to your favorite bar at the bottom. So you can access more of your favorite apps from your home screen without even swiping anywhere. Feature number seven is where you can enable the pop-up folder option. So are you tired of the whole screen getting taken up when you open a folder like this? Or if you don't like this enlarged version of the Samsung One UI 7.0 feature, then you can go ahead and turn on another feature called the pop-up folder option. So with pop-up folder, you have faster access to your apps by just popping it up. So just tapping on it and this will basically pop the folder and will show you all the content in it. So let me show you how to turn this feature on. So here we'll first go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, we're going ahead and opening up the Home Up module. So if you scroll down, find the Home Up module, tap on this, turn this feature on, then tap on Home Screen, scroll down, and you'll need to find Folder option. Within the Folder section, you're looking for the pop-up folder, which is right here. Turn this feature on, now press Home, and now when you go ahead and tap on a folder, as you can see, it comes up in a pop-up view. So now this doesn't take up the whole space. You can even move this folder on another Home Screen, 
So for example here, if you tap on this, as you can see, it has basically overlapped on the existing folders. You can still turn on the enlarge feature if there is space. However, you can just go ahead and tap on the folder and you can basically access your apps. So here you have a snappy and an efficient folder access without leaving your current screen. Feature number eight is where you can customize your clock face on your lock screen. So if you want more stylish or a minimalistic clock look on your lock screen, then let me show you how to do this. You can basically use a clock face module to customize its size, font, and position. So first we'll go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you need to go ahead and download a module called Clock Face. So scroll down and find Clock Face. Go ahead and install this module. So now once installed, you have access to all these different clock faces. So you can go ahead and choose any you like. And if you like the one that you're looking at, you can go ahead and set it as your clock face. So let's just, for example, let's go ahead and choose one, this one here. And I'll tap on the tick. And this will basically change the clock face for my lock screen. So I can press done. And now that clock face has been applied. Now, if I don't like what I'm seeing there, I can go ahead and configure this even more. So for example, if I chose this, I can edit it and I can go ahead and choose. So my clock, I can choose different font size like these. I can choose different fonts for my time, for my date. I can choose other graphics as well. I can even remove it if I don't like this graphics here. So now once I'm happy with it, I can go and press save at the top right. And then I'll go ahead and apply this to my lock screen. Once I'm happy, I can go and press done and that clock phase will be applied to my lock screen. So this gives your lock screen a personal and a professional touch on your Samsung S25 Ultra. Feature number nine is where you can fix your camera shutter lag. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, are you noticing a slight delay when you tap the shutter button like this? If yes, then you can use camera assistance to make it more snappier. So let me show you how to do this. So first we'll go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, we're going ahead and opening up the Camera Assistant module. So if you scroll all the way down, you'll find Camera Assistant. Tap on this. Now you want to go ahead and scroll down and find the Quick Tap Shutter button. So this will take pictures as soon as you touch the shutter. An extra picture will also be taken when you swipe or hold the shutter button. So turn this feature on. And now you want to go ahead and turn, go to your camera. So once you press the shutter button, it'll take a picture right away. So you have instant shutter response. So it's perfect for capturing fast moving subjects or candid moments from your Samsung S25 Ultra. And lastly, feature number 10 is where you can have the lock screen animation for your S25 Ultra. So any Samsung S25 Ultra, you can add and change the animation when unlocking your phone. So whether it's subtle or bold, make it your own with your Samsung S25 Ultra. So here we'll first go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, we're going ahead and opening the Wonderland module. Then go ahead and tap on create your different lock screen effect. So here you can go ahead and tap on new, choose a wallpaper. Now press close. And now you can go ahead and choose the lock screen effect. So you have CRT, pixelate, ripple, sphere, warp, edge, blur, hexagon, slice, flip, slide, or fluid. So go ahead and choose what you like, and then go ahead and tap on close. Now go ahead and edit the effect. So you can make it slow, you can have some depth, you can have the round or high, and then go ahead and preview it. Now once you're happy with that, tap on save, save again, and then go ahead and set this as your wallpaper for your lock screen. So now once you do this, press hold, and when you lock your screen, you'll see that effect on your Samsung S25 Ultra lock screen. So this adds flair and a polished look every time you unlock your phone on your Samsung S25 Ultra. And that's it. 10 next level good lock features every Galaxy S25 Ultra user needs to know. Let me know in the comment section down below which one you're trying first, or if you got a favorite I didn't cover. If this video helped you out, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you're into Samsung customization, and hit the bell icon so you never miss a tip. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.